I wish I could tell you it's a nice, bright, sunny spring Saturday in Winnipeg, but the fact is that it's a nice, cold, gray, snowy mid-April Saturday in Winnipeg, but it's a great day for us to bring together about two dozen of the convention delegates uh, who are forming the resolutions committees uh, for the upcoming convention, which is going to meet in June in Hamilton, Ontario. And these folks are meeting in advance of the convention uh, to consider some of the requests and overtures that have been brought from the church at large uh, and to try to devise ways to advise the delegates to uh, go, go about these things. In other words, to do a little bit of advance homework for the convention. It was important that we got a fairly equal representation from the three districts and also uh, we strive for equal representation between pastors and lay people. And so I appointed the members of these four committees, uh, but uh, went uh, to all three of our district presidents with the list of the delegates who have been chosen to come to the convention and asked them, uh, could they advise me on who some of the very able people would be from those delegations who could serve on these committees. And then uh, the district presidents historically uh, have served as chairman of the resolutions committees. The only little problem we had was that we needed to uh, organize four committees, but we have only three district presidents. Uh, and so uh, we asked a parish pastor, David Bodie, uh, to serve as the chairman of the fourth committee. The result of the work that they do will be basically this, uh, that they'll take uh, many of the reports that different synodical entities have submitted and also overtures, in other words, requests for action that have been made by congregations and other agencies of the church. Uh, they're sifting through all of these and they will turn these overtures into proposed resolutions. In other words, these will be the courses of action that they're recommending to the convention when it comes together in Hamilton. The convention, of course, always has the right uh, to say, well, we don't like that suggested course of action. We want to amend that or we want to toss it out altogether and substitute something else. They have the right to do that. But this at least creates a good coherent starting point uh, for the discussions when we're together at the convention. Once this gathering is over, uh, we're going to compile all the suggested resolutions in a little publication called Today's Business. It's the first uh, edition of Today's Business. And that is going to be mailed out uh, uh, to all the uh, congregations, pastors, and deacons of the Synod. In addition to that, a lot of these materials should be available on the, uh, on the website, lutheranchurch.ca. The names of the chairman of the committees are certainly available uh, to people there in the church, and if they have input they want to make, uh, they would be welcome to, uh, to get in touch with these uh, uh, chairmen and uh, let, let them know their thoughts. In addition to that, uh, on the first day of the convention, that would be Friday, June 3, in the afternoon, after 1 p.m., uh, most of the committees will make themselves available for what we call open hearings. So if there are people coming to the convention in Hamilton who would actually like to appear in person before the committees and express themselves on some of these things, uh, they'll have an opportunity to do that.